Hi, I'm Lindy Seifger. I'm the Managing Director of CYT, which is Christian Youth Theater. Tiffany Johnson, Sacred Dance Institute. Merlin Gonzalez with Faith, Hope, and Love. Aaron Alsmeyer, I have directed several musicals for homeschool students. excited about um, a few leaders coming together for a first step in a whole new way of doing things. We can meet each other and collaborate and just see where the Lord takes it. What I see the artist community can do in the, as far as the spiritual growth in uh, Indianapolis is to, to really bring that creative um, presence in our community. To me, I feel more inspired when I know I have given something of myself to someone else. We should make um, what we do in the arts uh, part of our Christian life and so being part of our Christian life we have to interact with the body of Christ because we just don't have, you know, any one of us doesn't uh, doesn't have all the, the gifts that we need. Everybody is bringing their gift and has the opportunity to bring that gift and has the opportunity to uh, let that flow with, through the power of the Holy Spirit. He calls us to be a body of believers because um, I, I can't say to the eye, you're not part of the body. There are many artists out there that maybe they have excess supplies of, you know, the paint or this color or this stand. Then there's another, you know, artist that, or group of artists that, who are in need of those things, we can put them together. When you're a not-for-profit, ministry-based organization, um, it, it's a lot of hard work. It, it takes a lot, of, um, a lot of elbow grease, it takes a lot of sweat to get things up and running. And I think if we could link arms more and we knew we had more resources, um, it, it might be an easier, more fulfilling thing to do. I started developing a passion to want to talk about things that you know are not talked about in church. And really, you know, my plays, the plays that we we were doing, I wasn't intending on making people happy in the audience. I was intending on trying to change lives. The problem is, I was too much in it, and it was all about me, even though I didn't know it. It was my job to bring people to the altar. It was my job to do things. And in 2000, a year before you were in the play, the whole thing blew up in our face on press rooms. We had to shut everything down. And so we reevaluated our entire ministry. Because although, you know, it's really good to talk about those subjects, there was something wrong with the heart. And after about six months of prayer, my, my eyes went to Philippians 2. It said, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. And I thought to myself, what if ministry was put in there? An everlasting worship, praise, prayer, edification, all of the gifts, healing, deliverance, um, preaching, teaching, all of that kind of exploding to the place where the presence of God is so thick, the Shekinah glory is so thick that, n that everything gets moved out to a place where you can't help but just worship and be before Him. I think uh, coming together uh, as leaders and, and encouraging people, whether it's, you know, a short seminar or maybe a conference or maybe just come together and worship together. You may have somebody that's, you know, a group that's going, that's doing um, worship while the others are being inspired by the Holy Spirit and by the music, by the worship, start drawing while others are doing flags and others are doing dancing or others are just, you know, meditating uh, on the music. During the prayer time, Beth and I had written down our prayer request and we passed it on to the guy next to us and um, everybody was uh, praying for each other and then uh, the man next to us, he prayed for us, put his hand on my shoulder and he prayed for us. Um, and he prayed something really specific that was not on our prayer request. It was, it was not something that we'd written down. It was not something that we'd mentioned the whole evening. It was not something that he could know in, in any way but because we'd never met this man before that night. 
but he prayed something very specific for us that was really on our hearts and something we had been praying for. Um, and uh, it was really, um, it was just very meaningful to us. It, it, was, uh, it was as if God was confirming to us, I hear your prayers and um, I want to give you the desires of your heart. We're always encouraging the body when we come to minister to understand that this is to spill over. It's just like um, uh, a cup running over. We may be called to begin or start or usher in the presence. Um, however, it should be infectious because it's not us, it's Him. And it's His desire that we fellowship in unity and in one accord.